I'm Dawn. I'm Shelby. Welcome to Terp Chef. Today we're going to make an easy and delicious bean soup using only canned ingredients and a couple spices. I will make a simple dessert that only requires one ingredient. As Dawn said, we're making an easy black bean soup and we're using two cans of black beans. We're using a can of vegetable broth. We're using a can of corn and we're using a can of diced carrots and peas. Now I got all these cans from a local grocery store, which you can also get them there too. Or you can get them at a convenience store on campus and you can also raid your parents' pantries when you go home for winter break. Now this recipe just requires emptying the ingredients into a pan like this one and then heating it for about 20 minutes. But if you don't have access to a stove or pans, you can also put everything in a microwave safe bowl and microwave it as well. So let's get started. I've already drained and rinsed two cans of black beans and I'm going to add to that a can of corn that I drained. And now I'm going to drain a can of peas and carrots and add that. Now we made this recipe a little bit healthier by using low sodium ingredients. And we also use vegetable broth because I'm a vegetarian, but if you'd like, you can also use low sodium chicken broth or beef broth as well. So after we add the peas and carrots, the last ingredient we're gonna add is a can of vegetable broth. And we'll stir that all together. Now you can put this on the stove as it is, or you can add some other spices to your taste to uh, just add a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of dried onion. And then I'm also gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice. And if you don't like those, you could also add garlic salt or some pepper or anything else you prefer. So give it a quick stir to mix everything up a little bit and you're ready to put it on the stove. And place a cover on it and set it to medium heat for about 20 minutes. Once it's all heated through, you're ready to enjoy and this recipe makes a lot. So you can share it with your roommates or you can put it in the fridge and have it as leftovers. Hi, today I'm going to make banana whip, which is an easy dessert and a great way to get your fruit servings in for the day, as well as curb sweet tooth cravings. So the first step is to freeze bananas in a Ziploc in the freezer. This can take a few hours or overnight, and once you take them out, break them into small pieces and add them to a blender or food processor. Today I'm going to make plain banana whip. You can also add peanut butter for some added protein, or chocolate sauce and honey for added flavor. Once you have the bananas in, you can just put it on the food processor or blender and blend it until it's the consistency of sauce or ice cream. That only took me about two minutes and now I have a delicious banana whip dessert. So there you have it, two quick and easy recipes, a hearty meal and a delicious dessert. Thanks for joining us on Terp Chef today. We can't wait to see your recipes. Bye! Bye. Thank you! Thanks.